Hey Dale, and happy Farm Girl Friday. I have had many, many questions about this whole AI process with our cows, artificial insemination, and why we choose to AI our heifers over just throwing a bull in with them. Um, very valid question, makes a lot of sense to ask it. So, um, some some farmers do it because they have a very small herd and it just does not make financial sense for them to go out and spend thousands of dollars on a bull for, you know, a handful of cows, 10 cows. So having someone come in to AI them, um, you know, they're still going to breed, they're still going to calve, uh, and they don't have thousands of dollars invested in a bull. Some do it because uh, they just don't want the problems that some of the bulls cause. Some bulls are very hot, meaning tempered. Um, they're very aggressive, uh, always going through fences, trying to get to someone else's cows, and they just cause a lot of chaos. Um, if you're worried about other family members being around bulls, uh, children, you know, spouses, elderly, whatever, some just don't want to take the chance of um, getting into a situation where they could get hurt by a bull. So those are two very good reasons why. Um, some people, AI, like on, on a larger scale, um, we don't do this yet because we're not um, th in that capacity. But if they can get more cows bred in like the first 21 days of the month, the cow cycle, they're going to have more calves hit the ground in that short amount of time, which means they are going to be more of the same weight. They're going to be in a more uniform um, calving herd to sell, which actually brings better money either at the sale barn or, you know, somebody looking for a certain amount of calves at a certain weight. So on the, the bigger operations, um, man, they'll load pot trucks of, um, of calves. They'll, they'll go in and they'll pull out the ones that weigh the same um, or near the same amount. And that way they send a whole group of calves that weigh the same weight and then they're you know, their prices go up because they are all uniform. Um, we have, we always have somewhere between 120, 140 cows and uh, we, we just don't do that yet. We're not, we, we have spring and fall calvers, so we're not big enough to do that kind of operation. Um, I, the reason that we do it and we only AI our heifers is that uh, my husband loves genetics, absolutely loves it and um, went to school for, you know, um, ag, and, and that was his favorite part was genetics and, and all that, and he really likes to try out a bull or even a few bulls um, through AI prior to purchasing. Because if you spend that, you know, those thousands of dollars on a bull, and then you don't like what he's throwing, you then, you're, one, you're stuck with them for that calving season, and then you've got to, you, you know, try to find somebody to take them and hopefully get the asking price that you want. So for us, um, seeing what kind of calves a bull will throw prior to purchasing, you know, a, a bull within that line just makes more sense. And the other thing is we keep a lot of our own heifers back. So you can't breed that same bull to his offspring, you know, unless you, I mean, just want to cause problems. So um, that that's more the reason that we choose to do it. And I, I mean, I share these Farm Girl Fridays on um, all my social media platforms and that it just kept coming up like, why? What is the purpose? Because AIing is so much more work. Um, but those are the reasons that some people do it and the reasons that we do it. So hopefully that clears up just a little bit. Um, and believe me, throwing a bull in with the cows is, is way simpler. Um, we have a 90 day calving period that we like. We don't want to run a bull all year long. We don't want to deal with that. Um, 
but you do know when you AI that you should get a certain amount of calves within a shorter amount of time. So a lot of people just like that really short calving season. So hopefully that helps. Um, I might go ahead and post a link to an article to, um, if I can find one that's pretty up to date that will probably give way more info than what I just gave. So till next week. Bye guys.